Welcome back to Scarfing Scarves. I'm Tyler, and in the spirit of the season that's currently barreling down at us like your distant relatives at Thanksgiving dinner, I'd like to wish all of you watching a very Merry Christmas. Those of you not currently being bent over a sawhorse by the big department stores have the most to gain from what follows here on out. And if all you singles out there will put down the sharp objects, I'd like a few minutes of your time before you go absolutely postal on the Jolly Neighbors upstairs. They'll surely be making the same amount of racket by the time I'm done, and if you stick with me long enough, with any luck, we'll keep the evening from ending in more red than green. Welcome to the Christmas Survival Guide. Step one, prepare the beating stick. Child abuse never looks so festive as it does with a bow bestowed stick cracked down hard upon an ornery child's head. Little Timmy was being a bit of a snot anyway, and future whackings will absolutely ensure compliance in front of friends and strangers as you drag your impertinent crotch spawn through the surging shops and malls. Your fellow shoppers will thank you for the brief relief from obnoxious whining, and should you stay the course long enough, the mere whisper of jingle bells will have them cowering in the corner for the foreseeable future. Remember, PTSD is the gift that keeps on giving. Step two, pack your hokens. Either all you uncultured swine out there missed a beat, or perhaps because I entirely made these up, Hokens are the currency of choice when donating to your Salvation Army Santa this Christmas season. A shortening for homosexual tokens, these hardcore gay porn painted faux coins have all the jolliness of the North Pole going south. And considering the Salvation Army's previous donations to anti-gay causes, what better way to jingle their bells than with a hard hot dose of brass balls? Sweaty, sweaty balls. Step three, prepare your shame. Your dad is going to come out in boxers, said boxers will be be old, and if you haven't seen the Holy Spirit by the time he bends over in that overly short robe, you'll be wishing you swallowed the mistletoe sooner rather than be visited by the scarring rendition of your genetic heritage once more. Eye bleach cannot save you, and if you have any hope of surviving the next few seconds, I suggest you bludgeon yourself while you still can. After all, Aunt Greta hasn't shown up with her shitty dachshund yet, and if you leave a sweet grip of reality now, you might just miss the 50th rendition of how she left her Epsom salts at the market counter. Buy one now and your family can use it to poke your corpse. Step four, burn all your money. Otherwise known as buying Christmas gifts, this not so ancient tradition is best practiced when you can absolutely not afford to do it. Failing to destroy little Timmy has resulted in another mouth to stuff with multicolored packages. And considering your rent is due in exactly five seconds, what better way to ensure your thoughts for the less fortunate than going bankrupt over a Tonka toy made from the tears of child slaves and general workplace abuse. Sleeping on the street will give you a reason to wear Aunt Greta's hideous sweater. And while Hogan's might not be as good as the endless array of pornography you once had, beating the Salvation Army Santa sense will provide the catharsis you so desperately long for seconds before the icy hand of death snuffs your flickering light like so many cheap LEDs. The police will handle the cleanup and never again will you be visited by that terrible image. <laughs> Step five, cry. Given that you've managed to survive this season without arrest or bodily injury to yourself or others, the final step is to prepare your soul to do it all again. Christmas morning marks the starting point once more, and should you be able to keep yourself from using your Christmas stick in ways God and man would mightily disapprove of when woken at 5 a.m., you should be able to unwrap several months' rent without having a complete psychotic breakdown. Greta can tell her salt story, your dad can destroy jingle bells, and you can eat Christmas dinner until your blood count is 80% honey glazed ham. Only 365 days in until we do it all again. Merry Christmas, you blithering saps. This has been Tyler. You've been watching Scarfing Scarves, and I'll catch you next time.